due to productive cough with light yellow sticky blood and was prescribed with agricultural things of azithromycin and salbutamol. Two weeks prior to admission, patient once again sought consultation and was advised to be admitted due to persistent aforementioned symptoms. And the patient experienced diarrhea with a frequency of approximately six times with a yellowish water stool, as described by the mother. He was then admitted at Kilawas Baptist Hospital for three days. The patient was diagnosed with pneumonia and was given unrecalled antibiotic medications. He was also prescribed with dexamethasone for his stomach pain. One week prior to admission, due to persistence of symptoms, the mother decided to consult to other hospital, which is the Living Hope Hospital at Maasin City. The mother noticed progression of symptoms, now aggra aggravated with high fever of 40 degrees Celsius, leading to an episode of seizure with a frequency of three times a day with a duration of 30 minutes. Per, ep per episode as verbally by the mother. Body weakness with swelling of both lower extremities was also noted. He was given IV and other unrecalled medications for an unrecalled diagnosis. After seven days, he was referred to EVMC for further evaluation and management. So on the day of admission, the above mentioned symptoms persisted and no known other associated symptoms are noted. Okay, uh, can you go back to your first slide? Okay. No, na, uh, yan, yan. Uh, hindi general data, sorry. The history. History mo. Kasi yung history mo, you started with three weeks, no? With the productive cough. Ano yung... Ano yung pertinent negative mo dito na dapat mo ibutang? Kasi often times, it imo kasi pag iyo pag imo history kung ano lang ang ginya ka ng parents but you don't add on kung ano pa ang gusto mo masagtan. Ano imo dapat din ibutang Like three weeks, productive cough with light yellow sticky phlegm. Ano pa ang pwede mo mabutang dida? Anybody? Anybody can answer me. Can, 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 can you open all your video? Kasi eight lang naman ka mo. Okay. Open all the video kasi amula kita hindi nagkikirigta. Okay. What, ano yung gusto mo pa masagtan? Hininga mo three weeks kasi ano pa? Aside from the productive cup that the mother, ma makutub ka la ba ito pag Okay ka lang ba ito? Nga? Ah, okay. Productive ka. Okay ka ba iba gusto nga masabtan? Um, Doc, we ask for um, kung nagka-fever niya or nagkamay na yung other kinaabas ko. Walay man ko. Anya kang nagkawal mothers. Um, Direk-direk sa loob. Tapos mo doon ako flem. Okay. Remember that itong history mo, this is not for you. This is for the for us who are ano listening to you. Okay? When if you know that you asked about a fever, kung may ka pa ibang napakiana, you should place it there sa history so that di na kami mapakiana. No? There was no accompanying ano, fever. There was no fever. There was no ka or ano man aadadida. There was no colds or anything. That is, ano, kasi before you make your history, kita ano yung atanan itong scenario hiton imo history diri kay an ini nga 3 weeks ibubutang ko na no you ana you analyze everything an imo nakuha nga data then before you make your history kita akong kailangan ko ba ini ibutang so very particular ako ini nga 3 weeks kasi ano ba ang accompanying no di ba ano usually this was not associated with di ba this was not associated with fever 
Kasi kailangan tayo man, di ba? Kasi magunang-unang na akong usang nga, nga ano eh, magunang-unang na akong usang nga, nga differentials, di ba? Kasi three weeks na to, ano yung isang differentials ko dito? Okay, ano? Oh, so, kung if you already think na, ah, okay, this is baka nagunang-unang akong TB, or even pneumonia. Di ba, even pneumonia, yung pneumonia is nasi fever. They, they usually start with common colds, they usually start with with diarrhea, di ba? Yan. Or anything na makakaano. Don't tell me na, Doktora, it will be mentioned sa ROS. No, it's not. Kung kailangan mo siya sa HPI, ilagay mo lahat sa HPI. Oo, kasi that would be a big mistake kung dinagay mo sa ROS na may fever tapos hindi mo nilagay sa HPI. Di ba? Meaning, yung nasa ROS mo na very important, hindi siya nakalagay, di, di, rimuhin, nagu, di ka nagunahunahin something nga uh, diagnosis. Kasi sa ROS, kung ano lang yung nakaligtaan mo. Di ba? Kung ano yung nakaligtaan mo. Nga, na walay mo ka pakiana, di ba? But in the HPI, it should be placed there. Di ba? Pwede mo na lang siya i-repeat sa ROS. Okay? Sige, adigi hapon. Okay. This is, hindi to ano ha, I, I just want you to correct kasi para you will realize na ano ba talaga ini. Okay? What else? Uh, is Kung walang associated or walang accompanying, then you should replace that. There was no associated cough, there was no associated fever, there was no uh, 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 or accompanying cough, vomiting, or diarrhea. Kasi, in two weeks time, nagreklamo na hiya nga may diarrhea. Di ba? Na, nakukuha niyo takarag signon? Yes po, Dok. Oh. Di ba nakuha na? Na, na rin ka mo nga. Two weeks by patient once again sought consult and was advised to be admitted due to persistent offer. Of, offer. Wag kayo mag persistent offer mentioned symptoms, ha? Wag. You always go back kasi seven days na siya. You always go back na still having productive cough. Okay? Still having productive cough and now patient experience or din na experience or associated or accompanied. Okay? Or pwede ka din magsiring uh, experience. Okay? Diarrhea. O oh, anong ginawa mo sa diarrhea? Ang imo pag describe ang diarrhea with a frequency of approximately six times with a yellowish watery stool. Ano pa pwede mo dida? Yellowish water stool nga pwede mong mapakiana nanay. Ano pa? Non foul smelling, non bloody. Kasi six times eh. 'Di ba? Six times. So, hindi mo naman kailangan makuha ang definite amount. You just guide the mother. Nay, kung amo inihiya, kung amo inihiya nga baso, ano kakuan? Paluyan na ang pagkolera. Hospital. Wait, you cannot even, you cannot, ano, you cannot gauge on how many ml of dia, uh, voluminous tools na din pass out ang patient. So, what I did, para yung mother mabilis sila makakuha, yung IV fluids, pinakita ko era. Nay, kung ini nga IV fluids nakikita mo, Estimate na kung ano kada mo. They can estimate. Ini, ini dok ang kada ko. Ini, ini, ini dok ang kataas. So, yan. Makakahinumdum ako nga. Okay. Just, just an estimate. You cannot get the appropriate. Okay? Okay? Approximately six times kasi many times eh. So, now. Ano't akong ginunguna-huna din eh. Ah, okay. Bangin. Ano kaya ini nga diarrhea? Karang secondary but akong ginhatag na antibiotic. Okay? Dapat amo na kamo hindi mag-think, ha? Kasi ikatay patient. Okay, yellowish watery stool. Again, wala na naman pertinent negative or pertinent positive. Kasi ito nagdiarrhea na, di ba? Mas rin ka na there was no associated Mas rin ka, 2 weeks prior to admission patient once again, a patient is still with having cough and colds. A cough with yellowish phlegm, tapos na, now experience diarrhea, yellowish, 
watery, non-foul non smelling, non-bloody. Ah, six times in a day, approximately mga 100 cc per bottle. Ikaw lang pag-approximate. This was not accompanied with, ano usually mo pwede mo mabalik? Of course, vomiting, fever again, kasi you expect six times siya nag-diarrhea, you expect that this patient would go into dehydration. ba? Diba? So meron siyang mga sensible water losses, which cause pwede siya magkaroon ng dehydration fever. ba? Diba? Yun. Amo ah, ito. It, yun, dapat ibubutang dida. It, yun, ano, ha? Then the patient was brought to, tapos even the appetite. Pwede ni mo. Patient had lost appetite, pertinent and pos pertinent negative and pertinent positive. Which you expect. Kasi imagine three weeks na ini eh. Kung three weeks na ako nga masakit kita, ah, tapos nagunaw na ka ba? Yung good man ini TV ba? Yung good man ini kuan? Diba? So, you think na nga, okay, kumusta kayan iya appetite? Diba? You, you always, ano, oh. sige, tapos she was given, yun na, patient was brought to, ano, Hilungos Baptist Church, okay? Sige, next slide. Ito, next slide. Okay, ini nga one week na naman, one week prior, kasi you always have seven days. Okay, nawala ka na. What happened to your cough? May dalagi cough? Still having cough? Tak may dalagi hapon diarrhea? Nawawala ka na. And then, malay mo, nag-seizure na siya because of diarrhea. Electrolyte imbalance, di ba? So, parang nawala na kita hininga one week. Uh, Doc, we, uh, nagbutang po kami ang progression of symptoms po and mga aforementioned symptoms lately. Because it's a few to make... Three and second... The mother, not the solution. Kaya nga eh, kasi ito yung bubutang din, progression of symptoms. What particular symptoms? Uh, so, Doc, we need to like elaborate on what symptoms yes, are noted. Yes, yes. And also, sa po. Yes, kasi you already mentioned two. Ha? Based on your th third week and your second, and second week. week. Yes, po. Ang nag-mention ka mong cough, di ba? Yes. Ang sunod ang diarrhea. Para wari ka mo pakiana. Kasi uh, especially in diarrhea, ang diarrhea, ano ba talaga progression of symptoms? Meaning, nag-progress ba ang diarrhea or ang cough? ba? Diba? Para oh. wali pa kay Anna, which could have triggered your seizure. Okay, okay. Oh, Nag-gets ni mo? Yes po. Do. Okay. Ibutang na dida kasi pag unang unaw, ano kaya nakatrigger ang seizure? ba? Diba? Ano kaya? Ano ang kaya? Ano? Ang diarrhea, ang ubu, or what? Or ibalahiya. Bakit sa dito, ha? Tapos, ano ang, okay, three times a day with a duration of 30 minutes. Tapos, what happened to the patient? Post-ectaly. Diba? Ibutang niyo, awake ba ang bata? Drowsy? Nagbalik ba? As if nothing happens? That is very important pag if you are describing the seizure. Very... Kasi 30 minutes is very long, remember. I think if I, kung meron akong 30 minutes in every seizure, tapos nag-occur pa, nag pa three times a day, hindi nakmagmamata. Hmm? You should think of yan, duration of 30 minutes, matagal to ha. Pamati ko, bangin na inin kumatos. Kasi maiha na hiyang hypoxic. Doc, possible po ba ang 30 minutes na duration ng seizure? No. It's Kay you. Oh. Oh, 30 minutes. Bagay, there are possible na 30 minutes. Yeah. E, kung diri ka, na, naduda ka, then you have to, hina yun mo ang mother pagpakiana. So kunay, diri kaya maiha ang 30 minutes. But of course, tuod lagi ito. Dito mother lagi ito at masusunod. Kaya lagi na nakad to. Heran witness, di ba? Yes, yes. But of course, you know better than the mother. Kung baga, okay, 30 minutes, tapos 3 times nag-ukfor, nag-kinatulog, diba? Okay, pwede gihapon kasi in patients with seizure disorder, they can have a 30-minute seizure, but all you know, nagmamataletira, nothing happened because meron siyang history. Okay? Sige. Now, kay ini nga seizure, dako naman inihiya, so kinahanlan, i-mention mo didi kung ano, ang cough nag-progress, ang diarrhea nag-progress. Diba? Okay. Kung labi na, labi na kung nag-mention ka mong diarrhea, kasi 
every day, every second counts. Diba? Labi na itong gin, gin papas out ito. Kinanlan, it may mention mo. So, I presume, hininga mo history, tikang han second week na may diarrhea hiya, nag-continue lahi until such one week prior. So, dako siya nga factor. So, gusto ko na ma-picture, pipicturon mo na kung anong posturahan han bata. Because remember, she's having a diarrhea for a week. So, what was the appetite? May da ba nag- may daba fever kasi you presume one week na ining nagda diarrhea dehydrated ini pwede ni magka adahin uh, fever di ba so you always mention the pertinent negative and then your last bullet what triggered now the pa- parents to bring the patients to our center okay when they were referred na doc by the previous admission doc and hospital yes what triggered the family to bring your patients to their center? What triggers? Kasi, imagine ka, one week na nga ka, for hira ka taranta. Mm-hmm. One week na ka, ano nakatrigger pag padarahan patient na to ha, do, ha, ano, ha, ha hospital? And swelling of lower extremities po, Dok. Okay. Amo to, pwede nga nito amo timpay, but kasi ito imo chief, uh, chief complaint kung ano ang nakatrigger. Uh, diba? doc, an, aw, an, ano po kami magbibasehan among um, chief complaint po, Doc? Kay, ber, first, nag-solve kasi yung consultation, Doc, through, and first consultation po niya, Doc, kay, through unpersisted cough, uh, unproductive cough po. Oh. Makaduha man po hiya nag-consult, Doc? No. Kung in hospital? Ito ang imo... first po? No. Pwede ito ang pinaka-reason why na naka, na-admit hiya. Kaya ano nga gindala na good ito nga ta hospital. So pwede ka gyapon body weakness, bad or lower extremity weakness or edema, it's because you already have one week diarrhea which could trigger body weakness, di ba? Which could trigger imo ano eh imo lower extremities. Di ba? Can you get my point? Do yes, you get po. my point? Yes po. Uh, pwede to amot imo maging pivot weakness this niya or ano uh, yun mga weakness kasi it can present naman uh, imagine in a 3 weeks nga cough almost 2 weeks nga nga diarrhea then yun di ba pwede ka na ito weakness pwede ka na ito because of you already think of electrolyte imbalance you already think of dehydration which could trigger the mother to ano to bring the patient Kasi ham time nga two weeks nga nagdadayariya hiya, wala yung katrigger dad una hospital eh. Diba? Dito lang yung natrigger pag dara hospital, ha nakita niya nga may body weakness. Uh, with dairy food, dog. Uh, oh. And two weeks prior to admission, ah, nagkuhan po yan, doon na ito yung admission first and ha, o sa hospital then ikaduhan na po yun nga one week prior to admission. Kaya nga, so ito yung pinakalates. So nga na po kami mabase ang pinakalates para mabutang ha chief complaint po. Yes, oo, pinakalinis. Okay. Pwede ka na nga ni seizure. You can you can even ano have the HPI na seizure, seizure. Okay. Now which kun naka-trigger. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Wide kasi ang seizure. It seizure pwede to hiya, pwede naka-cause ang diarrhea, pwede naka-cause ang pneumonia, pwede naka-cause sin bacterial meningitis. Di ba? Damo eh, pwede ito. Sige, okay. continue kita. I hope you can get para naman sunod. Yes, hold up. Okay, sige. Personal, his- personal history, which includes the prenatal, birth, and neonatal history. So, patient was born to a 39-year-old G2P1 mother at Hilongos Baptist Hospital. The mother had no history of illness, doesn't smoke nor drink alcoholic beverages during the whole course of pregnancy. With complete prenatal consultations, mother took vitamin C, 500 milligrams once daily, no history of radiation exposure. Patient was delivered full term via vaginal delivery in cephalic position with approximately six hours of active labor. Umbilical cord was cut using a sterilized medical apparatus no complication observed at the umbilical area such as foul smelling, yellowish, 
erythema, pus, bloody, water discharge, umbilical stump was cleaned every day using a cotton soap in warm water. Patient was bluish or cyanotic after delivery. No cry was noted for approximately 10 seconds. First tool appears brownish to blackish in color. Growth and development. So gross motor. So the patient rolled over at four months, sat alone at, four, at eight months, stand at 12 months, and before admission, and present, can run but with assistance. Fine motor, reach and hold object at six months, and at present can draw and write random different structures. Language, the patient, the patient is bubbled in seven at seven months. First word was mama, 12 months. At present spoke two word phrases. Feeding history before for the admission. Feeding history for the, uh, before admission. Uh, we have two feeding history before admission and during admission. So for the before admission, uh, the, the patient uh, eat six times six times a day with snack between uh, main like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So for the breakfast, one bottle of formula formula milk, which has 64 kcal, and that's Cerelac, 75 grams of Cerelac, which has 79 kcal. And for his snack, one bottle of formula, formula milk, which is 64 kcal, and the routine goes up until the dinner. So uh, the total cal Kcal intake of the patient is between 478 to 587 kcal per day. Next slide, please. For the during admission po, Doc, naka NGT po on patient. So for the breakfast, a uh, uh, based on nakatonia bottle is an nakabutang F100 120ml NGT formula. So anamon pag compute po based on amon research and Han among nurses po nga mga kilala, ha, among classmates. So the formula, han pagkuhahan uh, total calories is weight times car carbs for times fat for and protein. So our patient is 5.7 kilograms. So if we multiply it by 4 ha, carbs and by 4 ha, fats and by 9 into protein, the total kcal per day and intake on our patient is 820.8 kcal. So divided by three, 273.8 per meal. So for the immunization po, do, complete vaccination, but with unrecalled dates. Anya kanhan mother po, may daniya, an book po, pero wala niya kadara. So we assume that the patient had a complete vaccination. No, even though nga, masarin ka nga complete vaccination, you have to place it there. An table po? Yeah, an table. Uh, uh, okay, photo. Bisan pa ito niya wari kadara, you have to place there the table, okay? Uh, uh, Doc, may question lang po ako regarding Hanamon NGT formula kung asya na po. Uh, actually, F100, hindi yan akin, ano eh, dirito kasi akong line. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -oh. we'll, uh, we'll update you on the next meeting kung amo ba ang imo formula. Ha? Sige, kasi po, it will be based on the PMAM computation. Oh, okay, yeah. So, I double check naton by ano. By okay, po. thank you. Next, meeting. next slide, please. So, for the family story, father, 39 year old, works in a telecommunication company and has hypertension and taking and ludipine as his maintenance. For the mother naman, 39 year old, a housewife with no known medical condition. So, for the hereditary of familiar diseases in father's side, uh, they have story of diabetes, hypertension, and leukemia. While in mother's side, naman is hypertension only. For the socioeconomic history, patient is the only child. Patient is living with her mother's family, including his aunt and cousins. Father is a minimum wage earner, working five times a week. And patient is being looked after with his mother and his aunt from mother's side. For the environmental history, patient's house is a two-story concrete and well-ventilated house with two rooms, one room being occupied by the other member of the family and one room for them, for their family. 
Their toilet is located outside their house and is manual flushing type of toilet. They echo for as their electricity provider and jetmatic pump or the deep well as their source of water for maintenance and drinking water. For the rest of the family, po, jetmatic pump and era source of water. But for the baby, they bought mineral water from outside. Other garbages is being burned under the soil. Patient is not exposed in cigarette smoke, but exposed to other environmental pollutants because they cook inside the house using charcoal. People with cough and smokers are noted as community risk for the patient. For our physical examination, for the general findings, the patient is well-developed, malnourished looking, not in cardiorespiratory distress, Patient look his chronological age of one year and three months old. For the vital signs, temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. Pulse rate is uh, elevated at 142 beats per minute. And respiratory rate is uh, elevated also for having 64 breaths per cycle. Autostat is 94%. For our anthropometric data, uh, in the right side of the table, we have the normal values from CDC and WHO. And for the middle part, we have our measurements. So for the head circumference, uh, the measurement of our patient is 43 centimeters. Then the normal values from WHO is 43 centimeters, centim uh, 45 centimeters. While our chest circumference is 41 centimeters, the normal value is 48 centimeters. For the abdominal circumference, 32 centimeters. And for the normal value, it, uh, it is 36 centimeters. For the MUAP, uh, our measurement is 11 centimeters. Then the normal values from WHO for his age of one year and three months is approximately uh, greater than 13 centimeters. For the height, we have 161 centimeters. For the weight, 5.7 kilograms. For his BMI, po, it is 15.32, but the Standard value of WHO is 17.6. So as we can see in the table, it only implies that our patient is malnourished. For the skin, uh, during inspection, skin is warm, dry, and brown in color. Hyperpigmentation was noted in the abdominal area in circular arrangement. Ulceration is present in both lower and upper extremities, prominent in the distal part only. Uh, for the head, uh, for the HENT, for the head, symmetrical with equal hair distribution, no lesions, no palpable mass, no bleeding, no infestation, anterior and posterior fontanel already closed and not palpable. For the eyes, eyebrows are symmetrical, no scars and active lesions, eyelashes are fine, black, and oriented outwards, no edema, no tenderness, and no lid lag of the eyelids, no anecdotic sclera no hemorrhage, no ulceration, as clear cornea and pupils are equally round. For the nose and sinuses, septum is on the mid midline, no nasal discharges, no nasal flare flaring, no lesions, and no congestion. For the cavi oral cavity, no signs of dryness of the lips, no lesions, no bleedings, and no discoloration. For the neck, trachea is on the midline, no discoloration, thyroid gland is not palpable and moves with deglutition, no palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, no inverged veins, and no visible uh, pulsation. For the breast, no discoloration, no dimpling, no discharges of both breasts, no nipples are everted, no palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, and no tenderness of both breasts. For the chest and lungs during inspection, no masses, no lesions, no deformities in chest walls, thorax and chest expansion is symmetrical. So for the palpation, no tenderness noted, for the percussion, we noted dullness in upper lung field. And during auscultation, crapple was heard on the upper lung field of both lungs. So the right and left lung, uh, upper field near, uh, we heard crapple. For the cardiovascular system, during inspection, no pericardial bulging or lesions in the chest. During palpation, no mass, cess, or no tenderness was noted. During percussion, dull, no thrills, and no hips was noted. For the auscultation, uh, the patient is tachycardic for having 142 beats per minute. Normal heart sounds, uh, first and second heart sound is audible. No murmur. Uh, the PMI is at the fifth intercostal space, left mid-clavicular line. For the abdomen, we uh, during inspection, we 
notice that it is inward curve or sunken. No visible peristal cells, pulsation, lumps, no nodules, and no scar. For the auscultation, there were no bruits, normal, but uh, normal active bowel sounds. For the palpation, liver is not palpable, kidney and spleen is not palpable as well. During percussion, the whole abdomen is tympanitic. For the extremities, limbs are symmetrical, no signs of reformation, no masses, no tenderness of joints and clubbing, and no edema. Uh, for the genital, uh, no edema, no hematomas, no laceration, abrasion, or dry secretion. For the scrotum, no erythema, no ecchymosis, no lesions and abrasions as well. For the anal, uh, sa botox part, there are no lesions, no dry secretions also, no ecchymosis and rashes. For the perianal skin, no inflammation, no secretion, no bruising, no tears, no laceration and no fissures. For the back and for the back and spine, no abnormal deviation of the spine, no kyphosis, lordosis, no bulging across the length of the spine, and no paravertebral tenderness. And there are also no masses noted. For the neurologic exam, mental status examination, patient PM is a one year and three months old male Filipino, was evaluated in lying position wearing a loose shirt, he does not interact with environment and cannot respond when being called by his mother. During the examination, he never cried nor gave attention to the examiner. For the cranial nerve assessment po, doc, sa, uh, sa cranial nerve 1 po, sa olfactory, we haven't po, and tested it because di man mga correspondent patient if magpaamoy kami. So, anamun na la, uh, during, anamun gibuat during cranial nerve assessment and pwede la naman observe Ha, patient while na light yeah, yeah, position. So for the cranial nerve 2, the optic, the cranial nerve 3, 4, and 6, the uh, six, the oculomotor, trochlear, uh, then abducens, pupil are rounded and pupils quickly and symmetrical constrict to a bright light uh, using our pen light directed into either of the eyes with poor accommodation. Uh, with poor accommodation, extracular movements are not intact, no ketosis or no stag nystagmus was noted. For the cranial nerve 5, which is the trigeminal, so we have no we have gone, no data about it, okay? it requires an mga facial sensation. So since there pa nakaka ng bata, so we there na magpapagyanan ko nakaka feel hiyahin mga stimuli. So we proceeded to the cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. Uh, which is responsible for the facial muscle movement. So we have noticed that the, our patient has facial asymmetry and his mouth is protruding to his uh, left side lung. So during the duration of our cranial nerve assessment, nga tula talaga iya, wara iya nagkilos sa ibang aspect han iya mouth. So for the cranial nerve 8, which is the auditory, we suspected po doc of hearing loss since a patient is unresponsive and before call her iya nanay dire talaga na na react what was the ano what was the sensorium of this patient kon to la la to la la so meaning dire nga may hearing loss kasi remember based on your hp ayo you sabi mo 30 minutes nga nag seizure yes doc three times or we don't yes. know how many times so you expect that this patient is abandoned Hindi pa siya abtanded? Sorry, Doc. Uh, that's the first time na na-hear ko ang word na abtanded. Oh, sige. You find, it, you find the, ano, you find, you, you find, itong yeah, definition of them. Hindi ba siya stupulus? Stupulus? First time giha po narinig? Yes. yes stupulus? Yes, po. Kasi you cannot claim right away that this patient cannot hear. Because that's why he, suspecting pala kami, Doc. Yeah, suspecting, pero i i sabi mo, yung sensorium is an, Balala. ano, the, ano ba yung sensorium? Ano ba yung sensorium? Hello? 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 Okay, can we you cannot hear? hear, we cannot hear you clear po, Doc. Why? Hello? Ito, can you hear me? Dere, Doro. 
Feel ko doon, may kukuhan in mo heads, heads, heads. How about this one? Can you hear me? Yes po, Doc. Okay na po. Okay, very clear. Okay. Kasi, based on your history, this patient had seizure for almost 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yes po. Or three po. times. So, you expect that this patient is super drowsy. Kaya nga, it was, it was referred to our center, to EVR, for further evaluation, for higher, mm -hmm. ano. Okay. So, as you claim, nasa rin ka nga, ang patient, di, walay hiya, di hiya nakaka-feeling any sensorium, in, in sensory? Ah, di, di, ah, paano po naman ma-assess, Dok, kay ang patient ba, tapos di rin pa man naman mapakyan ako na kaparihan. Facial expression lang. Facial expression. Uh, Anya, based, hanam mo ng observation po, Dok, waray talaga, Dok, tulalalahi ya. Kaya nga, kasi I want you to justify, hindi niya sensorium, kasi bisa mong pakida pag dinuunon, pag pinan mo anon, kung waray talaga hiya, kung waray talaga hiya, ano, respond, then there's something wrong with your sensor, with your sensory, your sensorium. Diba? Yung consciousness ng patient. So it could be your patient is already stuporous or drowsy. Okay. Okay, diba? Po. Ano ba siya? Nag Nagmamatabahiya? Namamati? Yes. Diri yan namamati, Dok. Pero nagmamatahiya. Nagmamata? Nablink ba yan? Ay, no. Yes. Uh, diri giyap. Diri oh, so, giyap, Dok. Diri nablink. So parang abtanded. Ha? Kita ka mo definition it abtanded. Abtanded. Oo, bagahin blunt affect ba? Ito, pamita ka mo itong word nga blunt affect, abtanded, drowsy, stuporous. Okay? Okay po doon. Uh -huh. Kita ito ni Yo. Kasi based on your your history, ano, it could happen. I, I expect these patients to be stuporous or Stupor. abtanded. Uh -huh. huh? Sige po doon. We will search for, for the meaning and mga words. Sige po. Uh -uh. Ah, hindi pa tapos, bro. So, for our cranial nerve 11, the accessory po, Doc, we noticed that the patient has stiff neck, always lahiyan na kadiha left side. Liwa. Yeah. So, How about lang. your nuchal rigidity? Ah, makanto pa nila kita, Doc. Sige. <laughs> makanto pa lang kami. Sige okay. po. Okay. For mm -hmm. the motor po, Doc, uh, si Ania, mga muscle naman, normal posture, symmetrical limbs movement, uh, and normal tone with symmetrical muscle bar. Pero, during our grading po, Doc, during assessment hand, right upper, then down to the lower left uh, extremity, grade to, na, na assess po namang grade 2 la, Doc. Hmm. Uh, like, active movement with gravity eliminated, no resistance from the physician kay. And during our evaluation po, Doc, in race po niya hand, then, dire na stay. Like, dire to la bagsak. Hmm. Okay. Sige. Normal naman po niya ngayon. For cerebral, no extension tremor. For the meningeal, no rigidity po, Doc, na positive po niya since atul talaga yung asay. Diri, diri na ba yun? During the whole duration ng aking assessment. For the bridging po sign po, Doc, na intest po niya using hand maneuver na dinto duha amon. Pero halag, wari ako naglabot sa niya neck since duha man ang uh, pag-assess ng bridging po sign, the, the neck and the leg. So, since ang leg, Okay, if you didn't perform the the head, the neck, why did you place the positive note on? Um, I mean, no po dok kay ang no kaligidity po nakita ibigay sa man po dok kay diriya during the whole duration ng assessment niya tunod talaga yun asay. No, it's not. Bisan namin dibutang. No, bisan pa ito. We have plenty of neurological cases na nakatulay ko ito ng side pero walang no kaligidity. So don't. Uh, wag mong isummarize lahat. Ah, okay po, Doc. Okay. So, how okay, did you perform your bridging skip test? And ako po, Doc, halag, in flex po niya other leg, ano siya, then sumunod na siya. So, oh, that's uh, indication of bridging skip time po, positive bridging skip time. That's all? Yes po, Doc. Paano mo? Yung tuno mo? Yung ano mong yan? Ano yan? For, for example, ini po ako, like, sa hindi leg po, Doc, like, throughout ang uwa, 
No, what do you mean? 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 It is not just the ano the flexion of of the other leg. You also look for the facial expression. Okay. You also look. You can. Kung sobrang hard to pudok ng amon patient like wala italaga niya expression na iya. Kaya nga sabi ko an manage. Kaya nga it could be your patient is too porous. Is too porous. Or kung it's too porous pudok ng amon patient, then how will we assess for the Brzezinski sign pudok? You can you. Ito nung yapon. Ito nung there is a resistance when you flex the ano. Yes, there is a resistance. Dili kay pipiritun mo hiya pag flex, pag flex kun amoy nit legs ano, amoy nit ni. Yes. If you flex mo ito di ba? Yes. Pero ig 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 sa sa kamo gihapon nit iya tay nga de igbaw. So towards an abdomen po. Yes. Hindi not not eh oh. If there is a resistance. Not fully pero. Not fully, and if there is resistance, then it is positive for Brzezinski. Brzezinski. Usually, for patients, for drowsy patients, usually, they usually cry. They usually feel the pain. Ah, okay. Sige po. Okay, pwede mo makita ang facial expression niya. Now, if you claim that kung paano ka makakasiri nga positive Brzezinski by facial expression, Hining a particular patient, then your patient is too porous. Kung amo ito. Too porous. Sige po, Doc. We will find the meaning of too porous because as an yan na pala kami dito ng ka-encounter ng word. You mean you are you are performing Brusinski and no calligidity? You don't know what is too porous? Pili ko, Doc, an meaning. Other word, dire kami maano, pero an meaning siguro we encounter dito. Sige, you read. No calligidity po, Doc. Di ba kayo stiff an iya, an iya, neck. Kung stiff ito, kung stiff ito neck, then positive nukal ka na. Diba? Pwede pa yung ma-manipulate ito? Like, pwede yung mag-ikadiabot nga nga right? Ba yung mabari? Ay, gaya po, Pirita. Kasi it nukal talaga, pag if you will elevate the head, pati ito din it shoulder maupod. Yes, doko. Yes po. Yes, that is positive. Ay, na pag Pirita, pag pilo at ulo. Kaya matumbabari ang ka. Pag magkita ka nga na upod ini nga side, nga doon oh, okay. ang front, then that's positive for nukal. Ah, okay po, Dok. So, okay. di ba, Dok, ang Brzezinski sign, kay may daduha nga, like, ang maneuver, ang upod ang neck, tas ang leg. Oh, yes. Pero, but, if you already positive for Brzezinski, meaning positive ka nukal. Ah, so, nako-insign nga niya rin nga doon, Dok. If yes, oo. Oh, oh. mm. So, wali kong Tapos, positive ka. Based on akong reading ngay, and wala na kami perform ang Babinski because under two years daw, Doc, normal na ito ang reaction for the ano, patient under two years. Oo. Below two years, pwede ka pa magmamalit, Babinski, but after hitungan edad ng mga two years old, blah, blah, blah. Tapos may da ka pa flapping tremors. And then you have a very, ano, a very obvious signs of neurologic deficit. Then, You can have a Babinski positive result. Okay. So our last maneuver, how many angel is turning? So na fold mo na niya ano? Na fold mo na niya. Na fold that and lower extremities so negative. Kore man stiffness na mo na ano? Kore man stiffness na mo na na noted. So last for di ko na autonomic, no excessive sweating man based on na na ita post based on our observation di ako di man niya hulus. So negative. So for our discussion, po. Next slide, please. Our salient features based on demographics, history, HPI, and physical examination. Demographics: one year and three months old, male Filipino. For the history of present illness, ah, ah, wala kaya ni may hindi mo. Hindi nga sepsis secondary niyo mo niya, doctor. Pero ito yung ata. Kanan amo ni to other story dok pare ka edit amo ni to other case. 
an an na kanila pneumonia, diarrhea, seizure, body weakness, swelling of both lower extremities. How did you so test for the swelling of the both lower extremities? An kwan base ko han second I mean han iya second admission ha hilong ka uh, uh, osang hospital doc before no. EBMC. Kasi pin, li, how about yung makita mo siya wala nang swelling? Waray waray na po. Hmm. Pero ano man adi man doc ha physical examination waray ang swelling han hmm. han both extremities pero there's skin ulceration. Oh. Pero ha ko na dok ha distal part wari ha kami na proximal uh, distal part wari ha proximal like oh. ang mga end lahan iya extremities. Oh. So also we have noted grapple sa upper lung field tachycardia sakit niya also facial asymmetry then positive for nuchial rigidity and bruising design. Okay. That's for physical examination. So for our differential diagnosis, then we suspected meningitis because of the fever, seizure, weak, unresponsive, unresponsive and patient, Brzezinski sign positive and local rigidity. Since based on our uh, research doc, when there are Brzezinski and nuchial rigidity, positive ngani, automatically there are a uh, meningeal deficit na doc. So Pinaka first namon nga na rule in is meningitis. But we cannot totally rule it out since we need laboratories to confirm it. Then next is tuberculosis because of sakit na, tachycardia, cough, fever, weight loss, and skin ulceration nga na notice namon ha mga extremities. Tapos we cannot totally rule it out since But, kailang uh, why, 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 why did you not place there sa TB yung Brusinski at saka Nukal? Uh, kun kun Intrapulmonary tuberculosis, Doc. Kaya siya kasi namun suspected their extra pulmonary. The more that you will think ba, of... Yes, of course. Ah. Mas worse ito hiya kung pwede it meningitis. Ah. Uh -huh. So you Bisa could have your busy... Intrapulmonary, Doc. What are you... Ano ba yung differentials mo? Intra? Your so, pulmonary TB ba? Or your extra oh, pulmonary TB? Differential, Doc. In, what I mean hindi nga tuberculosis kay intra. Since we heard ko an ha crackle sa iya upper lung field. Yun lang ba? Wala well, hindi kayo na consider ng TB extra. meningitis. Ah, that's our final diagnosis po. Hmm? TB meningitis. Okay. Okay po, yes. Yeah, I just want to correct you. Your final diagnosis would be TB meningitis yes. but you yes. don't have the Brusinski and the nucal. Why? We have it as it. Pakikad to po ha, ano? Next slide. No, 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 no. Kasi, no, ito pa lang sa differentials mo. Ah, okay. I'm trying to look. Ito lang, itong table lang. Ah, Oo. okay. So, we ano need to put Brzezinski pa lang. And, and everybody, ano, 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 pakigdurungan na ako. Kung ano't yung pupuntang ha differentials, I expect that it is your final diagnosis. Mm, okay? okay po, so, yes, if you po. are thinking of TB meningitis for this case, then you know your nuchal and your kernix should be placed here also in your differentials. I mo ito specify kung what tuberculosis that you are thinking. Like, for example, is it pulmonary or extra pulmonary? Okay, Doc. Okay, Doc. Noted. Okay. Can you get me? Then yes, the seizure. You can also place their seizure sa, sa tuberculosis. Sa TB. Okay, po. Oh, oh, kasi din man lahat ng TB is pulmonary. The most common is pulmonary, but for 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 age four years old down, the most common is your extra pulmonary. Okay, your uh, okay, TB okay, meningitis. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay po. Yeah. So we suspected also sepsis, tachycardia, mm. sakit niya, fever and seizure. Mm. Then for the pneumonia, since may kaalam. Sorry for the roll in kailangan cup na yan. Sorry. Additional cup. Takakardia, sakit niya, fever and cup. So we rolled it out. Oh doc, nakaka-cost ba ang kuan? Pneumonia hin positive Brzezinski and Nokial? No. Oh, Asha, oh, doc, you we rolled it out. We rolled it out because oh. waray man, positive man and Brzezinski and Nokial rigidity. So we rolled pneumonia out. Even by thinking of it lang, dapat hindi yes, ka mapakiana ha akon. Adir. Okay, kung sangat na tananit no mo niya may nukal ng Brusinski, ito walay na yun, kamagtanan ng tanan ng pasyente. Okay po, Dok. So, our final diagnosis is TBM po. Our bases are, during physical examination, our patient is tachycardic, tachypnic, crackles in up, 
scaffolds in upper lung fields, skin alteration, and altered motor function. Then for the neurologic exam naman nga basis, positive for nuclear GDP, positive for Brzezinski sign, facial asymmetry, altered mental status, no eye accommodation, no extra ocular muscle deficit. Okay. Can you, can you go back to your differentials? Can you say about uh, pag, mag, pag nahatag na kamuhin, final diagnosis, pwede naman yung linagay mo doon sa TB meningitis. Pwede mo na din himabutang nga tanah na differentials. Okay? Kasi ginajustify mo, di ba? Ah, okay. okay. Kasi meaning, ininay mo, meaning, magsika nga nga differentials, usan na ito dida, it imo diagnosis. Right? Usan na ito dida, it diagnosis. Okay. So, pwede mo na din hi, tapos pasin ka nala, our final diagnosis is TB meningitis. Blah, blah, blah. Didi okay. kayo, because of Menensyon ko kanina, blah, blah, blah. Ha, dito kayo, i-mention mo iya, pero wari mo iya, didi-ibot ang differentials. Like, for example, did it meningitis? You cannot totally rule out, pero wari ka butang didi nga, altered mental state. Diba? Unresponsiveness. Nga tanan ibutang to justify. Okay? Okay po. Okay, this is a case of TB meningitis. Okay, by CT scan. There is an hypodensity over the basal ganglia. Okay. The focus, the first consideration, and I'm on first naging considered, is meningitis, acute bacterial meningitis. For the reason nga, this patient had already coughed for three weeks na may pneumonia and at the same time, diarrhea. Okay. So, diarrhea. So, pwede naman. You can also consider sepsis because of the chronicity of the illness, di ba? Tungkol ng kaihan na may da ibang nga opportunistic pathogens nga nagset in. It could be pwede naging hematogenous yung type yung yung infection niya. Actually, lahat ng differential small pwede mo lahat ilagay idoon. Pwede mo ilagay you cannot totally rule out because obviously this patient had pneumonia. And then TB pwede kasi When you say TB, it could be pulmonary and extrapulmonary. Yes. Okay? Your meningitis naman yun. It could be bacterial or viral. Okay? So, yan nga, paano natin nakuha ang TB? It is very difficult to diagnose TB, meningitis, but because of there is an exposure and the CT scan revealed an hydrocephalus and hypodensity, then We tapos hindi siya nag-improve, walang improvement despite all the intervention, and then the patient remain to be abtunded all the time, abtunded to stuporos. They are almost the same. Then yon. Actually, yung stuporos. Ah, if you will try to 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 ano ba yan? If you will try to stimulate the patient. Usually, may mga movement lang siya. Yung kamay, maliit na movement. Yung stuporos. Okay, they can even blink an, an eye or sometimes they are, they parang nabablank stairs lang. How about yung drowsiness? Yung drowsy patient, if you will try to stimulate between the cyphoid process, sinahinay mo, they will open up their eyes and sometimes they will talk to you but they will go back to sleep. Yun ang drowsy, ha? parang abnormally sleepy or drowsy. Yun. Yung stuporos, kahit ano, may stimulate mo, sa movement lang, parang blunt lang yung sensory nila. Ay, yung sensorium. Okay, yung lethargic naman, almost common na yung patient. Usually, nasa ICU yan. Ha? Okay, po. Okay. Sige. Is there any question? So, kung walang question, can we go to the next case right away?
Good morning, Doc. Good morning, everyone. So we are group, uh, subgroup one for our case presentation. Um, first, our general data. Um, we took the history, the date and time of history is October 14, uh, 12.50 p.m. And the date of admission for the patient is October 10, 2022. The source of our information is the mother and the reali reliability is 70%. So for general data, the patient patient LM, a six-year-old male born on September 17, 2016, a grade one student, Roman Catholic Filipino residing in Barangay Gamot Oras, Eastern Samar, was admitted for the first time on October 10, 2022 at EVMC Bagakay, Tacloban City. Our chief complaint is seizure. So for our history of present illness, 21 days prior to admission, patient developed an undocumented fever, especially noted during early in the morning and late at night. The following day, fever was associated with generalized abdominal pain on a pain scale of 5 over 10 and vomiting about half cup every after meal. No consult was done. 19 days prior to admission, patient experienced Seizure characterized as naninig aan kamot ng tiil, nagbubura it baba, nawalan ng malay, of unknown duration. That prompted admission to Oras Doctor's Hospital for three days. No recurrence of seizures while on admission. Lab exams done were CBC, UASE, and claimed by the mother to be normal. Patient was sent home with paracetamol one teaspoon every four hours for, for fever as needed. Mother does not know the final diagnosis well admitted. 16 days prior to admission, fever and abdominal pain recurred temporarily relieved by paracetamol one teaspoon every four hours. Nine days prior to admission, the patient was brought to Ambalan for four, four consecutive days and was given Lana, which offered no relief. Five days prior to admission, the fever still persisted, associated with sudden body weakness on both right upper and lower extremities, which gradually progressed, which rendered the patient unable to sit up or walk. Also noted were poor appetite and weight loss. Three days prior to admission, convulsion recurred thus prompting admission at Barongan District Hospital. Had two more had two more episodes of seizure well admitted associated with mumbling of words as verbal response hence he was referred to ebmc for further management on the day of admission the patient was non-verbal with body weakness and no appetite okay okay can you go back to your history na naman eto na naman amo na gapini nga iyo sakit okay 21 days prior to admission patient developed undocumented Fever especially noted during early in the undocumented, but especially noted during early in the morning and late at night. I that mean, undocumented I'm, already. Oh, oh. And po and po dog, and meaning and undocumented uh, temperature. And okay. you specify. Sorry. Well, hindi documented fever na siya, ha? Kasi you already tell us that early morning and late at night, okay? Then the following day, the fever was associated with an abdominal pain. Okay, what happened to the fever? Kasi undocumented, anong ginawa ng mother? Walang ginawa ang mother sa fever? Um, actually, Doc, um, gin, sumatan lahiya actually gini, Doc, nga ininapart na 21 days kay the patient is not living with her. The Sino patient is living with the relatives. Okay. Kung, you just ask also kung ano. You, you, kasi kamo, kung ano lang ginyaya kan, ano lang iyo gisusulat eh. So, ma, mapakiana ka. Kaya ba ang inakaligtaan mula pagpakiana? Nay, ano man nalang yung buhatan ni Ranat? Diba? Yes, sorry, masin man lang yung tumahatag yung paracetamol. Kasi we are trying to to establish here how high is the fever. Okay? E, e, pwede ka mapakinat. Paano nila? Nay, paano mo? Paano man ni Yugi pahabubuan ang hiranat? Kaya almost kita ka 21 to 19. It is almost two days, right? Oo, so paano? Pag sinabi ng mother na wala, 
And then, okay, I will stop there. Kung napakiana mo, di ba? Kung walay mo napakiana, then amo letos aton, it imo kulang hini nga imo 21 days. Okay? Did you get my point? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ini naman nga 19 days, patient experience seizure characterized as naninig at kamot and tiil na bububura. Okay, we got your point there. Oo, na picture ko hiya. But you tell us that unknown duration, hindi mo ginayad yung mother, yung unknown duration na yan. Kasi this has been going on for almost three days. Will you stop your history dyan lang? Okay ka lang dyan? Oo, what happened we, to the patient? We asked po, Dok, kung, kung ano ni Ragin Himo, tapos kung ano, ano, ang kaiha. Nag-ask talaga ko ha iya. Naya kaniya, diri talaga yung maaram. Kaya nagkita lahirahan ba ta, hanakad to na niya ha oras. Hanak-admit na. Tapos ganyan ka na. Hanakad na Opo. Na-admitted niya, amon ira pagkita. Kata. Ano to? Sino man ang nag- Historia na lahat iya, and relatives. And relatives. Nga dito hiya na ako hito na relatives. Tapos, nagpakiana ko iya. Nagpakiana ka, nai, kung ano natabon bata, ano, ano niya gin, ira ginhimo. Gin, gin pasay bahiya, gin, gin, ano niya gin, ira ginbuhat, yung pabayan lang, nagbubura, dire ko niya maaram. Basta amul ako nun ginyakan ha iya liwat. Amo giyapan yeah. about hand fever, doc kay dire gyapi ako no maramhan para sa tamal after lugod han oras nakadan ha iya ang bata kiya na lugod ang naghahatagan para sa tamal habang sa tamal man okay amo do tak sinisiring kun napakiana mo i will not ask question about this at importante nga napakiana mo ha kasi remember pati ikaw makikurious ka ang 3 days kay kun ako ito nakakita ang nagbubugura tak anak how often in a day kikuha ang kuhiya kasi so that i will know Ano pila na ini ka uras o adlaw nga hypoxic ini. Kasi kung itak anak, sigunaton ko matos nga nakita ko, and then makuha ko ini nga 3 days nga nakikinumbulsyon, then I would not be surprised. Okay? Sige, next slide. Sige, 16 days, fever and abdominal pain record. Temporary relief by paracetamol. Okay, you get the Sino na nagbibigay ng paracetamol? Yung mother. And mother na po. Okay. Dapat itin paracetamol, kukuhaon mo inihiya kung pera ang ginahatag, ha? Kung anong ginggamit, 250, 100, 120, over 5 ml. Kay bangin kasi under dose siya. Kung appropriate ba, aniya ginahatag. Okay? Yes, Inabalik man, mas rin ka. Fever na abdominal record, temporary relief by paracetamol at 250 mg kasi gusto na ma establish kung appropriate ba ang kahatagan paracetamol or kung kulang ba ang mga diri nakakaatuhan fever. Okay? Sige. Nine days, patient was brought to Atambalan for four consecutive days, was given lana. Iti ini nga nine days, from 16 to nine days, hirayo in here. Kung baga, pera ang difference, seven days, no? Amo, Ay, amo ba? Yes po, waray, waray ko po ng butang. Kay, ang iyakan dok, yung try anay niya for 7 days hmm. ang paracetamol. Tapos, hana, notice niya nga nagbibinalik lagi yung pan fever, pindaran na lang niya tambalan kay waray ko nung gamit ang paracetamol. Amo na, iti pag-istoryahin niya amo, masika still having fever and abdominal pain. There was no relief of giving paracetamol, so patient was brought to Atambalan for four consecutive gay, days. Diba given lana which offered no relief? Ha? Kasi nawawala kita kung haim ba ini fever na laba, nawala ba ng abdominal pain, okay? Kasi pag mga higrayo na nga distance it iyo, or it iyo history, you should go back kung ano niya mga previous symptoms. Okay? Uh -uh. Sige. Five days, sudden body in both right upper and lower extremities, progress to render patient unable to. What happened to your patient? Did he remain awake? Or nakaon ba? Kasi from 21 to 5 days, amulan iya pagkaadahin sudden body weakness. What happened to your patient? Nakaon? Na 
nakaumpa po dok siya pero kuan na bagat nagdeteriorate na siya up to hand and sunod na mga days di ba nagstart na niya weakness nagstart okay. giha po na niya low appetite mm. pag so, nagsumpon sa mo in HPI gimpit picture niyo kung ano na hinabo ang patient especially ini nga mga long history pag inaano mo sasabihin mo na na the patient had lost to up, up appetite remain bed uh, remain at bed most of the time Diba? Hindi na siya playful. Kung dati playful, yeah, ano, para mapicture ma natin kung ano na iya postura. Kasi from 9 days, from 16, nag 9, tapos nag 5, then still having uh, on and off fever with sudden body weakness. Para kita makasabot, what happened from 21 to 5 days? What happened to his appetite? Okay, Why ba? No associated, only fever and abdominal pain. No other associated symptoms like cough, colds, vomiting. Waray ma'am po, Dok, kay and vomiting, dito lang po kunuhan before he yan na admit ha oras. Then aniya sunod na vomiting, ada na ya EVMC. Kaya nga, kaya nga why I'm asking this because hindi kayo mahilig maglagay dyan ng pertinent negative. Diba? Like for example, yung 21 days, patient had fever and abdominal pain. This was not associated with vomiting, diarrhea, diba? Cough. Kaya nga, hindi kasi ka mo mahilig magbutanghin mga pertinent negative. At nahihina bukas, kasi napipinikturon kita nakapira na kitang pasyente, amo lagi hap, nga daya na, wala lagi hap ka mo pertinent negative, pati ini nga imo case. Babalik-balik kita ito yung problem. Which is very important. Sige, continue. Sige, okay. So, recurred, convulsion recurred, Tapos, dapat magbutang ka pa din is still having febrile episode and the convulsion record that's prompting the admission at Borongan District Hospital. Okay? Admitted, associated with numbling of words as verbal. Kung, iyan na, ini nga imo, numbling of words. Ano't imo ginuna-huna hini? Change in sensorium, right? Kasi mumbling eh. Mumbling I'm, I'm, I'm just, ano, ha, kung ano't yung bubutang. Ano nakakos ang mumbling? Convulsion record. May da pa ba inia fever? May da po, may da pa po, Dok. Yes, what are you trying, what I'm trying here to say is, kasi admitted, associated with mumbling, bahin kasi taas masyado tiyay ranat, magdidelirium. Diba? Bangin among kakos ang iya si sure. Diba? Kasi now you are trying to point out na kung an ESC sure related ba haniya high grade fever. Which is diri mo gindi, di, waray mo ka ano, waray mo ka ano mo HPI. Masing ka at the height of fever, this was now associated with seizure. Diba? Kasi nasa rin ka man pirmi, nga pirmi lang may fever. Am I right? Yes, Kado. Yes, can you follow me? Diri ka mo nakaka-follow ta ka signo na no. In 21 days, this patient complained of fever and abdominal pain, right? Han after ito on the 9th day or 16th day ba? Nagsirin ka mo nga this patient is may convulsion. But you didn't mention if it is related to the high grade fever. So, at the point na hitaasan niya na nag-convulsion niya. Okay? Hitaas ba ang hirana or waray hirana or may dahirana? Okay? Tapos nag-seizure. Kasi mag-iba ito yung mga definitive diagnosis ito. Itong nag-convulsion nga waray hirana, ngayon itong convulsion nga may dungan nga hirana. Ha? Mag-iba na ito. Dungan na ito at akong diagnosis. Itong Kumbaga, doon na tak differential sa itong naunaw na. So, you have to qualify if there is a high-grade fever nga nag-seizure or there was a low-grade or no fever nga nag-seizure. 
Oke? Okay? Can you get me? Oh, ikut di kamu. Nakakain tindi kamu tak kalah si Bungun? Yes, Bu. Kau balik-balik lah kita ini nga iyo history. Parang feeling ko, walay kita kakantuan history pala. Sige. Go. Diretso. How, how did you qualify? How did you get the history of dizziness and lightheadedness? Paano mo na elicit yan? Anong pagvamit? Sige, you could, you, sige, you continue.
So for the skin, warm and dry skin, positive for mild baggy pants sign, dark complexion with fair skin turgor, no ecchymosis, no active lesions, no hyper or hypopigmentation, no cyanosis, no jaundice, no rashes, no edema. Nails are pink in color and capillary refill in twos and no clubbing. For the head, skull is symmetric with no masses, temples are not depressed, hair is black in color, fine, straight, and equally distributed. No alopecia, no nits, no dandruff, no active lesions, and no tenderness. For the eyes, ptosis noted on the right eyelid, eyebrows and eyelashes present bilaterally, no sty or lesions noted. Sclera, white, sclera is white in color, bulbar conjunctiva are clear and pinkish white. Palpebral conjunctiva are, cl are clear and pink. Slow reaction of papillary constriction in each pupil. For the ears, ears are, sym are symmetrical, aligned cream pinnae, no tenderness, intact tympanic membranes and canals with orange serumen, and no active lesions with poor hearing activity. For the mouth, lips are dry, brownish pink in color, and pursed together tightly with dry mucosa and with a complete set of teeth with dental caries. For the throat, next is supple. Trachea is in midline position. Lymph nodes are non-tender and non-palpable. No mass is noted. Thyroid non-palpable. Structures rise upon swallowing. There is no jugular vein distension. For the neck, trachea is in the mid midline. Thyroid gland is palpable and moves with deglutition. No palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, no tenderness, no engorged veins, no visible pulsation. For the breast, no discoloration, no dimpling, no discharges of both breasts. Nipples are reverted, no palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, no tenderness of both breasts. For the chest and lungs, thorax is symmetric prominent rib cage, no lesions, no masses, no lagging, no tenderness. Symmetrical chest expansion, unimpaired tactile firmness in all lung fields. Resonant in all lung fields of both anterior and posterior chest upon percussion. No crackles and wheezing in both lungs and all lung fields upon auscultation. For the heart, a dynamic heart with no precordial bulging, no thrills, no heaves, no lumps, no tenderness upon palpation, PMI on the fifth ICS. And upon auscultation, first and second heartbeat is audible, no murmur, heart rate synchronous with pulse rate of 100 BPM. No pericardial rubs, no carotid brewery. S2 is louder than A1 at, at the base, and S1 is louder at S2 at the apex. For abdomen, for the abdomen, tenderness is present, no protuberance, no scaphoid abdomen with abdominal girth of 48 cm, no ascites, no visible peristalsis, no pulsations, no lumps, no nodules, no scars. Liver is not palpable with a liver span of 8 cm. Spleen is not palpable, kidneys are not palpable. For the extremities, prominent knee joints, full range of motion of all joints. Normal skin temperature, no edema, no masses, no lesions, no varicosities. Inguinal lymph nodes are not enlarged and all distal pulses intact, full and equal. For the back and spine, prominent vertebral spine, no abnormal deviation of the spine, no kyphosis, no lordosis, no paravertebral tenderness, no masses, and negative for kidney bunch. For the neurologic examination, MSE, the patient is awake, drowsy, not attentive, and uncooperative, inactive, quiet, not oriented to time and place, and person. He is well-groomed, speech is not clear, thought process is not intact, and does not respond appropriately. For the cranial nerves, cranial nerve 1, unable to assess due to NGT. Cranial nerve 2, pupils constrict to 4 mm, symmetrical and slow reactive to light. Cranial nerve 3, Four and six. Ketosis was noted in the right eye. Eye is able to move upward, laterally, laterally, downward, and medially. For the cranial nerve five, positive sensory function to touch. Cranial nerve seven, there is a presence of weakness and asymmetry of lips, eyebrows, and cheeks on the right side of the face. Cranial nerve eight, unresponsive to verbal stimuli, and cranial nerve nine and ten, difficulty in speech. Cranial nerve 11, able to turn head to both sides and unable to shrugging shoulders upon resistance. Cranial nerve 12, unable to protrude tongue. For the behavior, eye-opening response, 
we gave it a score of one for the verbal response. The response is incomprehensible sounds. So we give it a two score. For the motor response, there is none. So one. So a total of four score. For motor function, there is atrophy of muscles, has involuntary movements in the right lower extremity, no spacity, no rigidity, and no toxicity. The patient cannot extend both upper and lower extremities. The muscle strength in all extremities is grade 2, which is active movement with gravity eliminated, no resistance from accessories. For the sensory, sensitive to light, touch, and pain, the other sensory assessments were not accomplished as the patient is unresponsive. For the muscle strength, rapid alternating movement, arms, legs, and finger tapping, and point to toe, finger to nose, and shin to heel movements were not evaluated as the patient was unable to respond to the accessories. Gait and stance were not assessed as the patient is unable to stand and walk. So for the oh no, Kaudok. So for the salient features, uh, our demographic is our patient is male, six year old Filipino with low socioeconomic status. Uh, in the HPI, uh, weakness is present, fatigue, fever, and weight loss. In the head dizziness and for the neuro seizure is present. For the PE findings, dry skin is present, mild baggy pad sign is present also, and eye-tosis are on the right eye and slow reaction to pupillary reconstruction on each, uh, on each pupil. So um, on the rib cage, it is prominent and the abdomen is scaphoid. Prominent knee joint and prominent vertebral spine. So for differential diagnosis, um, first we, rule in acute bacterial meningitis um fever because fever is present seizures to for irritability sensitivity to light and changes in mental mental state so thus we cannot totally rule it out also in tuberculosis meningitis fever is present seizure and stupor irritability um, we can differentiate this if we have further um laboratory test findings at that time the patient was tested for his blood and no um no results yet because um it was on the same day na nag extract and and stuff nito next is dehydration we rule it in because um of the vomiting because on the day and admitted he nag vomit na liwat liya three times and then uh positive of body weakness dry skin, dry mucosa, and dry lips. Thus, we do not, we cannot totally rule it out. In myasthenia gravis, um, we also see the symptoms because we rule it in because we also see the symptoms of weakness in the arm or legs or in the extremities and difficulty in speech, seizure, and fever. Thus, we also cannot rule it out because it can also be a cause. Then, Next is marasmus. Um, we rule it in because the patient has severe muscle wasting, poor appetite, prominent rib cage, prominent vertebral spine, prominent knee joints, and severe weight loss. Also, we cannot rule it out. Thus, our probable probable um, diagnosis is acute. May bacterial meningitis with malnutrition marasmus. Where was this patient located? Where was this patient located? Um, along the hallway po, Doc. Saan? Papunta saan? Papunta sa office namin or sa conference room or sa isang area
yung may op may office doon at to nga may dapa room niyo dito kung dito ka mo nagdiliwan itlahi at dok han door han kanan last time nga TB patient nga may malnutrition malnutrition mm. nakadali ang gawas okay, okay. sa pinlad ko pero gawas yeah. uh -huh. okay damo damo kasi yah okay uh, based on your ano based on your history uh, ini nga six years old ni yung a patient Actually, we have an incidental findings of uh, mass sa abdomen because they bought 21 days to na fever and abdominal pain. Right? Yes, madam. Okay. Tapos, there was seizure along the way. Yes, it's true that this patient had acute bacterial meningitis. Based on your history, na nagbalik tayo sa salient features, sa salient features niyo. Okay. Based on sa history, six years old man, low socioeconomic status. Actually, you, it imo history and imo uh, neurologic exam pag mga malnut, pag mga marasmus patient. Usually, they don't, hindi siya, pwede siya maging drowsy secondary to the, to the meningitis, but usually their main uh, facial expression is pathetic. Yung parang makaluluoy which is true because an imo pag siringdidi is weak, uh, drowsy, and ano to ni mo? Drowsy and weak. Parang makaluluwi kita unla, di ba? Not attentive, ang cooperative, drowsy, and quiet. Okay, usually yan ang uh, usually most common features ng mal malnutrition. Usually they are pathetic. Ito nga, pag mga ganitong patient, it's very difficult for you if the, the mental state is secondary to the meningitis or it could be secondary to the malnutrition. Okay? Not unless you do your top, you do your ano. But based on the history, balik tayo sa PE, physical examination, usually you make use of ito ka, mild buggy pant sign. This should be Ato di dapat ha imo, hindi dapat sa skin. Ato ini ha extremities, sa buttocks part. Uh, yung skin mo is loss of muscle tone sa arm. Pwede loss of muscle tone and muscle atopy. Loss of muscle mass, okay? Sa skin, pwede ito ya. Or you can also place it sa imo extremities but it's more sa Yung mga arm, upper arm, yung sorry, pwede mo mabutang ang skin. So, loss of muscle tone and loss of muscle mass. Okay, your abdomen is not protuberant. Ayun na pagsinga, not protuberant because you already mentioned about scaphoid. Okay, you already mentioned with scaphoid, with abdominal girth of, you, uh, what do you want to, ano, that you get the girth of the patient? Pwede mo naman hindi na mo na kunin yung girt. Kasi scaphoid siya eh. But if it is globular, tapos six, six years old na globular, then you can get the girt. And then you do your succussion splash or your, ano, or your succussion wave. Okay, your liver span is not palpable with a liver span of eight. Is eight centimeter normal? Kasi I'm pretty sure you can you can appreciate the liver because as based on your abdomen it is scaphoid so medyo nakikita mo. What else in the ano? What else in the abdomen that is very important? What else in the abdomen that is very important? Kasi scaphoid. Ano tim gusto makita? Para good ma-prove mo nga ah ito talaga malnut talaga to. Bowel sounds do. Aside from the bowel sounds, of course, you can hear the bowel sounds. Kasi kung walang bowel sounds, wala. Ay, o na yan. I wouldn't expect an ascaphoid. I would expect a globular abdomen kung walang bowel sounds. Uh, what, ano pa yung gusto mong makita sa abdomen aside from the scaphoid? Kasi scaphoid. 
Okay, you can even appreciate the corrugation of your intestine. Makikita mo yan siya. Ito yung pinakita ko nga pasyente, no, na nga ginpatalikod ko, ginpakita ko ang bubot. Ito ba yun? Hindi, hindi. hindi. Oh, oh, iba to. Okay. okay. You, yung kulang na lang din he is because you were able to to parang yung audience pinapicture mo na magkasa talaga hiya. Kasi often times they don't mention any ano, any abnormality, ha, physical examination. Dito nila gin pa. Ano pa't kulang is prominent cheekbone aside from the prominent rib cage, ha? Tapos in iya scapula dapat prominent gihapon. So pwede mo ito ibutang dito ha extremities. Okay? Na mention niyo naman yung prominent vertebral spine. Ang kanina nga first yes, presenter, maaas okay. lang po. Ang scapula doc, kaha extremities din? Yeah, pwede mo sa back or spine. Back or extremities. Okay, okay, okay. Thank uh -huh. you, doc. Ang kanina, okay, at to kanina niya physical examination and neurologic examination, although di lang pa kamo maalam kung ano sa stuporos and ano. Just like this one, you cannot even identify kung it iya presentation is it iya mental state is kanan malnutrition or kanan secondary to the meningitis. Okay, but of course, kung iwiwi mo masin ka doktora, hi, matakong susundon. Of course, iwiwi mo it iya current condition, di ba? Iya current condition. Kung if she suffering from seizure meningitis, then yun. Ako anot iya postura ito yan na amot yung susun. Okay? Because this is not a pure case of malnutrition. Meron siyang kasing seizure. Okay? The second, kapunta na tayo sa, ano, sa punta tayo sa salient features mo. Ito nga din ito. Excuse me, Doc. Doc, is there a possibility nga pwede dungan an malnutrition and also an Um, an iya meningitis ba na symptoms na dudugan kasi paano no. man makuwi kung sabay-sabay ba do actually you can have two problems in this case you can have your one problem is of course yung problem number one kung ano yun ano yung pinaka acute at current like for example di ba may daka fever and abdominal pain di ba fever abdominal pain and seizure because hindi naman lahat di man nga di man malnutrition ang seizure Not unless nagdayari yan, nagano, diri nga ni nga tanan, good nga ni. Diba? So you can have two problems if you want to state ha, kung gusto mo maibat yung mga history. You can have two problems. Yung problem number one, yung seizure, sabihin mo. Fever and seizure. Yung problem number two mo is poor weight gain. Diba? Yung poor weight gain, i-ano mo, i-qualify mo. When did it start? Kakano nag-start ini nga, nga gumasa. Diba? When ini nag-start, nag-ano. Diba? So, yun. Pwede ito. Yeah. Because the most common comorbidities pag severe acute malnutrition, yun na mga fever, mga meningitis, kasi anything na mga opportunistic infection, pwede na kumadae. Yeah? Because he is very immunocompromised. Diba? So, you can have two problems. Or you can make it into one problem if you think it is interrelated, ha? Interrelated, related. Yeah. So, po yung diha po ni mo usahon ni mo. Okay, ano ako nag okay? Kasi it's because gin identify mo an iya ikaduha nga problem ma malnutrition, ha? Physical examination based on your feeding history, based on your living living and social economic status. Ano iya ano pwede ito iya. But if you want to make it pa nga gusto mo maduha guliya, pwede iya. It importante lang nga chronological, sunod-sunod, diri kay ma-jump ka nga di, ma-jump ka nga di. Okay? May dala ka mo mga kulang, like for example, it paracetamol, ano at ginagamit, okay, granted na basta lang ma-justify niyo, it's okay. Okay, pero kung nakaligtaan mo, iti mo sunod nga pagkuhan patient, ayaw na yan yung kangalinti. O, baan sugat ba ito? Eh, para at least naman la, may da ka ba nalilearn in every patient? Di rin man perfect. Kaya nga, adi kami kay nagkagay. 
ito. So, kinahan lang liwa ito ang first nga case, ang HPI. Ah, dinagkad ka mo. Actually, nakukuha na niyo picture. May dala mga guti ay nga detalya kasi HPI pa lang, makukuha mo at differentials. Like, for example, ang first case, ang first pa lang nga 3 weeks nga ka, usa ko na ito nga kuan, usa ko na ito nga consideration is TB. Di ba? Pag seizure niya, ah, okay, baka TB meningitis, baka meningitis. Baka secondary to dehydration because nagdiarrhea. Di ba? Ito naman, na second case, it could be uh, what I'm, ano, anon akong gin, uh, ano, gin question is yung salient feature mo, uh, usually dapat, it imo number one din he is seizure and imo HPI. Ini nga imo salient feature. Kasi amo yet mas mas grabe, di ba? Mas ano, mas dapat si sure kasi what triggers what triggers the family to bring that patient to the hospital? It could be now your chief complaint or it could be now your primary bullet it imo pag pibot it imo di uh, other differentials. Okay? Secondary na lat imo malnutrition. Okay? Ano pad ko lang hini din hi, imo demographic you are trying to convince the audience that this is a marasmus. You should place there the weight of the patient. Uh, convince the audience nga malnut siya. You place the ano, the weight, katapos. Pwede ka gihapon, delete mo HPI. Pwede ka gihapon, magbuta nga poor family income. Ito na, nagbuta ka ng low social economic. HPI, pwede gaya po ng feeding history, masyado ma. Kasi gusto mo ya i-prove na malnut siya, di ba? May daya nutritional problem. Okay? Tapos ito, sa PE naman, okay to, but ibutang gaya po ng imusensoryum. Kasi it's very important since if your final diagnosis is acute meningitis, your imu PE na picture ito nga tanat imu differentials. Okay? So, ibutang dida, pathetic, drowsy. Paano? Ako mga kasi rin nga meningitis siya. Kung it is in solium, fully awake siya. Diba? Tapos nagsinisure siya. So, you place everything there as long as it is connected with immodifferentials. And then, it yun naman differentials. So, you go to your differentials. It usang nga kulang din at yung differentials, ano? Electrolyte imbalance. Diba? Electrolyte imbalance. Because pwede naman, nag-hypokalimia hiya, they can trigger seizure. Diba? Hindi lang lahat naman na, kasi meron siyang abdominal pain. Pag abdominal pain, ano, uh, pwede ito niya mga hypokalimia. Usually one of the common presentation. Of course, you cannot totally rule out kasi may fever. It is accompanied. Ano pa yung kulang sa differentials mo? Well, which is common lahat sa mga pasyente ng malnutrition. Sepsis. Kasi matagal na siya. 21 days nga on and off fever. So, sepsis. Mm -mm. Why did I consider diarrhea? Oh, why did I consider electrolyte imbalance? It is because naghinira na siya from, for 21 days hanggang nag-5 days, may dalaga piya hiranat. What is your another yan? Meron ka nang ditong dehydration. Which could trigger also your seizure, di ba? Kung severely dehydrated, in which your fever is one, kung sa gihapon nito hiya nga reason, ito nga mo insensible water loss. So, pwede gihapon makatrigger hiya hin? Seizure. Okay? Nakuha na ninyo. Ayaw, good ka mo pag-considering may, may stinia gravis utang na loob. Ha? Igawas good ini para a good inin. Kay kanan mga dag kula ini nga sakit. Okay? So, may ada ko and may da mga research na may ada na ka ng juvenile. Ah, uh, juvenile. Pero 3% pala ya, Dok. Dere good iya yeah. da mo. But if, if you can say, it will take a lot of, hindi lang siya one, one time big time. Parang, Actually, parang lupus. It's just like a systemic lupus erythematosus. Sometimes they will come to the hospital, nag-seizure or pallor. And then after third, tapos papauwi namun kung nag-improve. Then after third hospitalization, dito lang kami nagkukuanhin lupus, nagkukonsider na. Okay? So, 
actually yung myasthenia gravis is ano is pwedeng out of the picture kasi if you can kung makikita niyo history with myasthenia gravis di ba kwantiya uh, genetic hindi siya acute hindi siya acute at the moment. Meron siyang talagang symptomatology nga mapo-follow before you can say it is a gamaistinia gravis. Okay. Sige. Pwede naman, masarin ka. AG, uh, acute bacterial meningitis, tapos marasmus with moderate dehydration. Oh, kasi obviously, you mentioned about dry skin, which is yung dry skin naman, Ah, uh, pwede naman kanan malnutrition gihapon. So it would be, it depends kung nakita niyo na. Okay. Can we can we can we have the set third case paspason la naton? So that why nakita ha Thursday? At Thursday no. Thursday. Oh, on your patient. It's on Thursday, it's your free time. Kutob ano nga time? Well, kasi wala yung nakamuan one to two nga free time. Kasi kung pwede, hindi ka mo makinunga ng kadamuan. Sir Jerry, okay. Sige, kitaong ta. Mamiling akong pasyente direct sa buwan. Okay. Sige. Paspas ang talay ni nga ikatulo. Hello, good morning, Doc. Uh, we are the subgroup three. Next, this is our topic outline. So for the general data, patient JM is a 13-year-old female, Filipino Roman Catholic, and was born on May 13, 2009, currently residing in Ferdinand Marcos, Calubian Leite, and was admitted for the first time uh, for first time in Eastern Visayas Medical Center last October 1, 2022. She's complained, masakit ngan maloya is lawas. So for the history of present illness, four months prior to admission, patient had an onset pain in periocular area of the right eye with a pain rating scale of 5 out of 10 radiating to the entire face. A lesion was also noted lateral to the nose bridge at the right side of the face. It was noted that the patient's pain radiates to the whole body after 6 hours of onset as well as the swelling of the face and the body. This was also uh, associated with fatigue, dizziness, odinophagia, productive cough, to non-bloody sputum and fever with max temperature of 38.4 degrees Celsius. No other symptoms uh, were noted. So um, the mother claimed that the patient self-medicated with oral mesonamic acid and biogesic every eight hours with unrecalled dosage, which offered temporarily relief from pain and fever. No other medications therapy were given no other symptoms were noted and no consultations were sought. Three days after the aforementioned symptoms, uh, it got worse, which caused the patient's mother to bring the patient to Calibayan District Hospital and was given unrecalled ointment and paracetamol with unrecalled dosage. The doctor at the said hospital advised them to go to the Deliran District Hospital for further management. And the family then decided against it and chose to self-medicate instead with a, given, with a given medications by the doctor. In the interim, um, patient self-medicated at home and was noted to have worse 
were staring effects oh were staring symptoms no other symptoms noted and no consultation was thought sought two weeks prior to admission patient was pressed to belated district hospital due to the worsening of the aforementioned symptoms especially the swelling of the face and the pain was now at uh, with a pain scale of 7 uh, over 10. So patient experienced body weakness and intermittent pain in the whole body. The patient was given an unrecalled antibiotic given intravenously. At an unrecalled dosage and more to more to in ointment 15 uh, milligrams twice a day in morning and evening no other medications were given uh, mother was also unable to recall the diagnosis of the patient upon admission to this hospital so one week after the doctor referred them to eastern visayas medical center but they decided to go home against medical advice in the interim, the patient self-medicated with muperosine uh, ointment twice a day, unrecalled antibiotic, and unrecalled paracetamol with unrecalled dosage. No other medications and therapy was given. So three days prior to admission, patient was brought again to Biliran District Hospital due to pain of the whole body with the pain scale of 8 over 10 with the same aforementioned symptoms. Patient was then given unrecalled medications. So one day prior to admission, patient was still suffering from these symptoms and worsening of pain and body weakness with pain scale of 10 over 10, which caused the patient to be unable to move. The doctor then advised the patient should be transferred to Eastern Visayas Medical Center, hence this admission. So for past medical history, patient had uh, complete uh, immunization and recall type and date of vaccines, uh, no known allergies to any foods and medications, no medical problem, and no history of hospitalization, uh, never had any surgical history and any accident, uh, no intake of any medication. So for the family history, patient's father is 46 years old, C. Sherman is in good health and has no known medical conditions. Her mother is 33 year old, is housewife and has arthritis. The mother seldom drinks alcohol, while father smokes and drinks occasionally. There is history of asthma on her father's side and history of arthritis and diabetes on her mother's side. Her siblings, uh, in order, uh, her siblings are ha have a 16 years old female, a 15 year old female, and a 10 year old male, and an 8 year old male and a 1 year old male, and are apparently healthy. So for the risk factors, compromised immune system, uh, older age, pregnancy, infancy, chronic disease like diabetes, kidney, or liver disease, uh, longer hospital stays, invasive devices such as IV catheters or breathing tubes, previous use of antibiotics or corticosteroids. So for personal social history, patient is a third child of Jasmine and Arnulfo. Her father works as a fisherman while the mother is a wife, housewife. She has five siblings. They live in one story house with adequate ventilation, but sometimes their house is dirty and dusty. They have two roosters outside their house and Leica provides their electricity. Water supply comes from Atabai or well. Uses for bathing, washing dishes, and laundry while they use mineral water for um, the refilling stations for drinking. The father is the one that cooks the food of the patient. They cook outside the house with wood fire. They store the food 
in Tupperware, they eat three times a day and usually eat fish, meat, rice, and vegetables. Their toilet is one meter outside their house and uh, is flush type. Their garbage is burned. Uh, for the head's assessment, she is living with seven other members of the family with good relationship with one another. She just uh, she does some household chores. Um, currently, grade eight student studying at Calubia National High School and has a great relationship with his teachers and classmates. She enjoys drawing and playing with her friends. She is very friendly. No history of alcohol and drug use, no history of sexual activity, no suicide attempts, and she feels secured at her home. So for maternal history, the mother is a 33-year-old G5P5 with unrecalled blood type. Mother had arthritis, has a family history of arthritis, ulcers, and diabetes. She re reports no difficulty during pregnancy. She denies alcohol, drinking, cigarette, medication, or drug use. Her birth history, born at 39 weeks via spontaneous vaginal normal delivery, patient was born at their house at Calabi and Leite. In first minute of life, infant appears pink and active. For the growth and development history, um, the patient started to crawl at eight months and be able to walk at 12 months a able to say basic words at 12 months old like mama and papa at present patient is able to read well to run understand and comprehend well for the nutritional history patient started to be introduced in solid foods at six months and the mother breastfeed him for one year and started to introduce uh, formula milk after no vitamins was given. So for the immunization history, uh, at birth, um, the vaccine that is introduced is the BCG and HEPI vaccine, one dose. Uh, for uh, six weeks of life, the pentavalent vaccine, oral polio vaccine, inactive polio vaccine, and retrovirus vaccine. So for the third, uh, three dose, for the 10th week, uh, OPV and pentavalent, uh, three dose. 14th week, uh, pentavalent OPV and IPV, three dose. Nine months old, MMR, one dose. And for the one year old, uh, one year uh, oh no, vaccination, MMR, one dose. So for the review of systems, um, the patient had recent uh, weight loss and loss, lo loss of clothes that that fit before, and positive weakness, uh, fatigue, and no fever was noted by the time of examination. For the skin, uh, the patient has no rashes, no lumps, no sores, no itching, uh, presence of dryness, hypopigmentation in the forehead. Uh, no changes in hair and nails and no changes in size or color of moles that has noted. So uh, in the head, uh, the patient has no headache, no head injury, uh, presence of dizziness, uh, lightheadedness that has noted. So to the, uh, for the eyes, the patient has uh, pain in ocular. There's no redness, no excessive tearing, no doubling or blurred vision, no flashing of lights, no glaucoma, no cataracts that has noted. And in ears, the patient has no tinnitus, no vertigo, no earache, no infection, no discharges, and does not use hearing aid. For the nose and sinuses, no frequent pulse, no nasal softness, no discharge, no itching, no hay fever, no nose bleeds, no sinus trouble that has noted. For the throat, um, the patient has no bleeding gums, no dentures, no soreness of tongue, no dry mouth, and a passive uh, frequent sore throat and dysphagia and a odonophagia and uh, passive for 
and the presence of a hoarseness that has noted. So for the neck, uh, the patient has no waiter, no lumps, no pain, no stiffness that has noted. So for the respiratory, um, the patient has cough, no dyspnea, no wheezing, no asthma, no bronchitis, no emphysema, no pneumonia, no tuberculosis that has noted. For the cardiovascular, the patient has a normal blood pressure, no rheumatic fever, no discharge, no heart murmurs, no chest pain or discomfort, no palpitation. No palpitations, no dyspnea, no orthopnea, no paroxysmal nocturnal dyspnea, no edema that has noted. So for the gastrointestinal, um, uh, presence of loss of appetite, no nausea, uh, no bowel movement, uh, no change in bowel habits, no constipation, no pain with defecation, uh, no trouble swallowing, no heartburn. No rectal bleeding or black tarry stools, no hemorrhoids, no diarrhea, uh, no abdominal pain, no food intolerance, no excessive bilching or passage of gas. Uh, the patient's stool is color brown. So for the endocrine, uh, the, uh, the patient has no heat or cold tolerance, no excessive sweating, excessive thirst or hunger, no polyuria that has noted. So for the peripheral vascular, uh, the patient has no leg swelling, uh, no leg cramps, no varicose veins, no past blood in the veins, no color change in the fingertips or toes during cold weather, no swelling with redness or tenderness that has noted. Urinary, the patient has no frequency of urination, no polyuria, no nocturia, no urgency uh, of, of urinating, no burning or pain during urination, no hematuria, no UTI, no flunk sign, no kidney stone, no ureteral colic, no suprapubic pain, no incontinence that has noted. For genital, uh, the patient has no dysmenorrhea, no premenstrual tension, no vaginal discharge, no itching, no sores, no lumps, no sexually transmitted disease or infection and treatment has, uh, there's no treatment that is noted. Uh, for the musculoskeletal, um, the patient has a presence of muscle pain, back pain, uh, negative for stiffness, uh, there's no arthritis, no gout that is noted. For psychiatry, uh, psychiatric, uh, no. the patient has a mood change that is noted. No nervousness, no tension, no depression, no memory change that has noted. For neurologic, no, head, um, no headache uh, with a dizziness, but no blackouts. Uh, presence of weakness and change in mood. Short attention with a slurred, slurred speech is noted, no changes in orientation, memory, insight or judgment, no vertigo, no fainting, no paralysis uh, with a uh, no, numbness or loss of sensation, no tingling, no tremors, no other involuntary movements, no seizures. So for the hematologic, um, the patients were noted for the uh, no, bruising. There's no anemia, no Italy bleeding, no past transfusion that has noted. So for physical examination, the patient was examined lying, conscious, oriented to time, place, and person. Will develop, not will groom. The vital sign, blood pressure, 120 over 80. Temperature, 36.5 degrees Celsius. Pulse rate 157 bits per minute, respiratory rate 20 breath per minute. Uh, for this skin, the skin is warm, fair complexion with good skin torture, uh, negative petechiae, no ecchymosis, uh, 
no rashes uh, with presence of active lesions uh, uh, with a hypopigmentation, uh, no cyanosis, no jaundice uh, with edema, nails are pink in color and with papillar heel uh, cyst. Negative for clogging. So for the head, skull is symmetric with no masses, temples are not depressed, hair is black in color, fine, straight, and equally distributed, no alopecia, no lice infestation, uh, with a presence of dandruffs, and uh, with no active lesions and tenderness. For the eyes, uh, the patient has a asymmetric eyebrow, eyebrows, active lesion lateral to the nose bridge right side of the face, uh, with uh, presence of edema in the eyelids right side that was noted. Eyelashes are fine, oriented outwards, tender, uh, no tenderness, no lead lug, no anecteric sclera, no hemorrhage, no ulceration, and clear cornea. Pupils are equally round and reactive to light. Uh, AOM and visual fields are intact. No stigmas noted. For the ears, uh, the patient uh, ears are symmetrical, aligned with a firm pinna, intact tymp tympanic membrane and channels, uh, with no tenderness, no impact impacted no active lesions, and have good hearing equity. Very nose and sinuses with a pale mucous membrane, uh, no epistaxis. Uh, presence of active lesions lateral to the nose bridge right side of the face. Septum is symmetrical with no nasal discharges, no nasal flaring, and no congestion. For the mouth and throat, the patient has a complete set of teeth, no dry mouth, and no bleeding gums. No cyanosis uh, with a positive or angular deviation to the right, negative fissures, negative ulceration, um, no sores in the mucosa, tongue and gingiva noted. Uvula is at the midline, tonsils are uh, enlarged, is enlarged, pale, soft, and hard palate. So for the neck, uh, trachea is asymmetrical, thyroid gland is palpable and moves with deglutition, and adenophagia was noted. No palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, no tenderness, no engorged veins, and no visible pulsation. So for the breast, um, the patient has no discoloration. No dimpling, no discharge of both breasts. Nipples are inverted, no palpable lymph nodes, no lumps, no tenderness of both breasts. For the chest and lungs, uh, the patient's torus and chest expansion is symmetrical, unimpaired tactile perimeters in all lung fields, and resonant in all lung fields of both anterior and posterior chest upon percussion. No lesions, no masses, no lagging. No tenderness, no crackles and whizzing in both lungs and in all lung fields upon auscultation. For the heart, um, the patient has a, a dynamic pericardium, no pericardial bulging, no thrills, no hips, no lumps, no tenderness upon palpation. BMI at the fifth intercostal space, left mid clavicular line upon auscultation, first and second heart beats. Beats is audible, no murmur. Heart rate is synchronous with pulse rate of 157 beats per minute. Um, for the S, uh, S2 is louder than S1 at the base, and S1 is louder than S2 at the apex. For the abdomen, the patient has no, uh, the patient is has a scaphoid abdomen. No ascites, uh, no visible peristalsis, no pulsations, no lumps, no nodules, no scars in the abdomen, no direct or rebound tenderness, no guarding. 
So for the extremities, muscle, muscle atrophy is uh, present with a uh, two-plus range motion in upper extremities and right lower limbs. Left foot not noted because patient says it's painful when being moved. Normal skin temperature, um, presence of edema in the lat, um, no, no masses, no lesion on the swollen area, and no varicosities. Inguinal lymph nodes are not enlarged. For the back and spine, uh, no abnormal deviation of the spine, no kyphosis, no lordosis, uh, no bulging of uh, no bulging across the length of the spine, no paravertebral tenderness, no masses. For the RE, uh, no consent from the patient, and for the genital area. For mental status, the patient is awake, weak and irritable, but aware of her surroundings. She follows commands and is coherent with Lord speech is noted. So for the cranial nerves, uh, cranial nerve one, intact sense of smell for both nasal passages. So for cranial nerve two, three, four, and six, uh, there is a pitosis noted. Uh, visual fields are normal in all quadrants. Pupils are round, briskly reactive to light with good accommodation with extra ocular movements are intact. So for the cranial nerve five, facial sensation is not intact to dull, sharp, and light touch stimuli. Uh, cranial nerve seven, facial asymmetry were noted, right face dropping. Uh, cranial nerve eight, hearing is normal bilaterally. Um, cranial nerve nine and cranial nerve 10, palate and uvula elevated symmetrically. Uh, cranial nerve 11, a patient can do shoulder shrug and equal bilaterally. Uh, cranial nerve 12, tongue protrudes midline and unable to move. For the motor, uh, motor uh, the patient has a normal posture. No limb movements, no muscle tone. Uh, muscle tested two plus, elbow flex flexors and extensors two plus, wrist flexors, extensors two plus, fingers of doctors and adductors three plus, knee flexors or extensors two plus. So for cerebellar, uh, there's no tremors for sensory, not intact uh, pinprick on mandibular area. Uh, temperature and position, vibration, things intact. So for the meningeal, no, no, no call rigidity, no Babinski sign. For autonomics, um, there's no excessive sweating and urinary incontinence. So for proposal diagnosis, confirmation of infection, blood culture, culture of sputum, and moon swab. Uh, imaging test to identify source of infection, ultrasound for kidney, bladder, uh, CT scan for liver, gallbladder, or other abdominal organs, MRI for soft tissues and bones. For the salient features, uh, for the salient features, there's a and uh, uh, noted active lesion in the skin, specifically ha abrasion nose, right side, uh, edematous eyelids, periocular pain, weakness, fatigue, recent weight loss, dizziness, pain, and adenophagia. For differential diagnosis, um, periorbital cellulitis. Uh, we relate in because of the pitosis eyelids, peroocular pain, and fever. We relate out because of the decreased vision and redness of the eye. So uh, next is the uh, no, retropharyngeal abscess. For the retropharyngeal abscess, we relate in because of dysphagia, dysphagia, and fever. Uh, but we relate out because breathing difficulty and stridor is not present. For uh, third is the sepsis. Um, we relate in because of the uh, patient experience weakness, fatigue, 
recent weight loss, dizziness, and pain. And we cannot totally rule it out. So for our initial diagnosis, uh, sepsis secondary to infection of periorbital area. That's all, Doc. Okay. Is there any question? May question kayo? History? Masyado detail? Papakit patingin nga ni mo differentials. No, salient features mo na. Kasi mata mahabay ni kasi ano active lesions in the skin sa ang skin to you have uh, to no, sorry doc uh -huh. so, dapat i-qualify mo edematous yes, eyelids doc. periocular pain weakness fatigue recent weight loss dizziness pain sa ang pain body pain doc sorry doc may body may body malay ha oh body myalgia okay, uh, okay. O, sorry o dinophagia Okay, if you will see this kind of history, di ba meron siyang edematous? Were you able to get that there was edematous from the neck down to the upper shoulder here? Nakuha niyo ito. Hanggang dito, it was ano edematous? Uh, and naman lang napansin, Doc, and bagat na diha iya face. Tapos hmm. bagat mild na laman at to, Doc, and na diha iya mga uh -oh. During your time, Dito yes, na lang doc. sa facial, di ba? Uh -oh. Yes, doc. But there was, ano, there was edema. Actually, uh, kuha alam niyo at history. Kasi kung ano, di naman ito karagsig mo na. Kung amo lang iyo nakita niyo pagkita, Ay, amo lang iyo. Ano. So, based on your history, you mentioned about edema, di ba? Facial edema. Yes, yes, yes. Tapos, ano, uh, and we are not sure about if this is a preceptal preceptal cellulitis okay uh we were able to you were able to get the actually the diagnosis is not preceptal cellulitis kasi pag preceptal cellulitis meaning dito lang sa sa mata which is meron siyang point of entry right di ba nasabi mo yes, there so. was a uh, lesion on the nose, which could be Yun ang reason. So, it could be, ano yung another differentials mo? Yung isa is cavernous sinus thrombosis. Have you heard about cavernous sinus thrombosis? Uh, yes, doc. Mm. Differential, please. Mm -mm. Meron kayo cavernous sinus? Waray, doc. Waray na kayo. So that should be kasi one, dizziness, weight loss, active lesion, then pain on swallowing. Kasi if you have pain on swallowing, you consider retopharyngeal abscess, right? But hindi naman lahat ng retopharyngeal abscess nasiswell. Diba? Mm. Hindi naman yan nasiswell. High-grade fever, difficulty in... 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 Ano, in swallowing. Actually, this patient have difficulty in swallowing. But it usually started off with facial edema up to the neck area to the upper shoulder. Okay, what could be your other differentials? Have you heard about superior vena cava syndrome? No. Sorry, you read about superior vena cava syndrome, wherein there is ano, impingement of your superior vena cava secondary to mass. Okay. Noted, Doc. If yung iba, what could be the diagnosis of this case? Excuse me, Doc. Kung Doc pwede, meningitis, Doc? Mm. Waste basket na yan, meningitis. 
based on the course of the history that there was facial edema, there were signs of lesion, sabi pa, merong ano. What could be your other differentials? Pwede naman siyang mag-meningitis because sabi mo, meron siyang lesions, di ba? Point yes, of entry. Na nagkaroon um, siya ng free septal, cellulitis, or periorbital, yes, abscess, di ba? Pag hindi mo maano yan, pag meron na siyang mga, mga ano tawag ito, mga entry, di ba? Malapit na tayo sa sinuses, sa brain sinuses. So, yung tawag doon is cavernous sinuses. Okay? Yes, doc. But actually, what could be, wala, lahat ng mga ano mo, Lahat ng mga differentials mo, wala doon. Oo. Wala doon yung differentials mo. Actually, this is a lupus. Systemic lupus. Uh, systemic lupus erythematosus siya. Mm. Uh, we have high consideration of systemic lupus because we were not able to so, we were able to rule out all the possibilities, like tinit namin siya ng retopharyngeal, tinit namin siya ng periorbital, cellulitis, tinit namin ng sepsis, but still, nandyan pa rin siya na. Kung nakita mo, wala ka mo makakita yung butterfly rash na mapulapulan uh, niya cheekbone. Have you... Or, ano ako na napansin, Dok, bagat may hematoma hiya nga dito. Wari mm. kami nakapansin na an, an rush. Mm -mm. Actually now, we are the patient is still there kasi there is an infarction in the brain. So, but there is a high probability of of lupus. Mm. Since the patient is 12 years old. Okay, sige. Is there any question? Bali, itbubuhat to niyo is tanan nga aton case nga gindiscuss. You will give me a hard copy once we met, mag-meet tayo sa Thursday, okay? Oo. Sa Word file, ha? Okay, Doc. Okay, Doc. Sa Word file, oo. Okay, sige. Matawag na la ako ay mo, Alvin, if, if there is any changes. Oo. Thank if, you, if you can okay if you can find time aside from 9 to 12 nga patient ano if you can find time kung meron kayo then it would be better pero kung wala then i think by wednesday makikita na ako ng mga cases okay uh, if you can kung meron kayong time aside from thursday hmm. kasi Makuang kasi, damo kasi ka munduro. So, almost, nga tanan nga cases na hahatag man. So, dili kami ako nakakapilihin better case. Ayo. But, sige. Just bring your ISO gown. Just bring your ISO gown kasi bahay ko kamutagan hindi yung needle case. Okay, sige.
has to be shown, no pain with the medication, uh, no troubles swallowing, no heartburn, no rectal bleeding or black tarry stools, no hemorrhoids, no diarrhea, no constipation, no pain with the medication, uh, no troubles swallowing, no heartburn, no rectal bleeding or black tarry stools, no hemorrhoids, no diarrhea, no constipation, no pain with the medication.